Hello and welcome. The Indian Navy, often referred to as a silent service, has been performing its role silently over the last one year during the Ladakh crisis with China. And what are the plans and operational role that the Navy can play in a crisis with China or Pakistan is something that we are going to discuss in this edition of Simply Nitin. I'm Nitin Gokhale. So as I said, the Indian Navy, which operates away from the shores of India, and in fact in deep seas and high seas, is the most unheralded or unseen of the three services, Army, Navy and the Air Force. And rightfully so, because while one can see the army on the border or their deployment of troops on uh, either the Pakistan or the China border, the uh, airplanes operating within the Indian boundaries, uh, Indian border are also sometimes seen by people uh, in the border areas or even in the hinterland. The Navy units or ships and submarines and their naval assets, uh, aviation assets, operate on high seas. And therefore, not much is known about the role of the Navy, at least in the general people's mind. So what does the Navy do? If you recall, in 1999, during the Kargil conflict, the Navy played a very silent role. It choked Pakistan's supply lines, especially going into the Karachi harbour or the Karachi port, which is Pakistan's lifeline as far as supplies are concerned of essential commodities, of energy coming from the Persian Gulf. So the Indian Navy played a role in bottling up Pakistani Navy's movement between West and East Pakistan, moving through the Arabian Sea into Bay of Bengal during the 1971 operations. This is the 50th year of the 1971 war with Pakistan. But what about the current state of affairs? Over these 50 years since 1971, the Navy's role has only increased. It's got four primary roles as naval enthusiasts and naval officers see it. The Navy has a, a military role, a constabulary role, a diplomatic role and a benign role. And I want to explain each of them briefly. Military role, of course, is in a hot war, a kinetic war, like in 1971. A constabulary role, that means policing the Navy's area of responsibility and the Indian Navy's uh, main area of responsibility is the IOR, the Indian Ocean region or now the Indo-Pacific which stretches from east shores of Africa to western Pacific according to the definition that India uh, adheres to, the definition of Indo-Pacific which means it's a vast expanse of high seas that Indian Navy has to police. It has to act in an anti-piracy role. It has to also prevent smuggling. It has to prevent human trafficking. It has to prevent drug trafficking on high seas. And also keep a watch on elements inimical to India's security on the high seas. So that's the constabulary role. A diplomatic role is to uh, try and reach out, uh, do port calls to friendly foreign countries uh, go, going right from Africa uh, to Southeast Asia to the littoral uh, states of Indian Ocean and extending India's goodwill into these countries by helping them during their uh, times of crisis, times of natural calamity, as Indian Navy has been doing. The final role, the benign role, is of first responder uh, the Indian Navy plays. If there is a, a cyclone in Mozambique, if there is a water crisis in Maldives, if there is uh, fire uh, to a Sri Lankan ship off the coast of uh, Sri Lanka. Indian Navy and in some ways Indian Coast Guard play the role of first responders. They are the first ones to reach to these places, these smaller countries and give them the necessary help in either dousing the fire, reaching uh, drinking water to Maldives, uh, during the COVID times reaching um, the help in terms of food, uh, essential supplies, medicines and now with the COVID vaccine uh, coming in or during the uh, pandemic in 2020, reaching out to these small littoral states like Madagascar, 
कॉमोरोस मॉरिशस शेशल्स मॉलदीव एंड श्रीलंका सो दीज फोर रोल्स द इंडियन नेवी मेनली प्लेज बट इट्स प्राइमरी रोल इज ऑफ अ स्वर्ड आर्म ऑफ द नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एपरेटिस ना हाउ इज इट अ स्वर्ड आर्म इट इज अ स्वर्ड आर्म बिकॉज द इंडियन नेवी कैन प्ले अ मेजर रोल इन प्रिवेंटिंग चाइना फ्रॉम कमिंग इन अ बिग वे इन टू द इंडियन ओशन रीजन इट कैन ऑल्सो टेक ऑन चाइनीज नेवल पावर इन मलाक्का स्ट्रेट्स देर आर सम चोक पॉइंट एज दे आर कॉल्ड एंड इन मलाक्का स्ट्रेट स्ट्रेट्स ऑफ लंबोक एंड सुंडा विच इज इंडियन ओशन ऑफ द कोस्ट ऑफ इंडोनेशिया और इन द स्ट्रेट्स ऑफ होमरूज and in the persian gulf the indian navy has played a big role silently it has escorted uh, indian flag vessels and other nations uh, merchant shipping through the crucial straits of hormuz when uh, there is there is tension going on there uh, or the earlier when there is to be piracy in the gulf of aden the indian navy ships the warships have escorted merchant shipping so that they are able to go through the passage safely without being attacked by either pirates or elements which are inimical to peace and tranquility in those areas so over the past one year the indian navy has undertaken sagar 1 sagar 2 sagar 3 kind of operations in the benign role trying to reach out evacuate indian nationals from countries such as maldives sri lanka uh, even uh, mauritius and seychelles bringing them back to india during covid times so if air india has played a big role in uh, what is called vande bharat mission uh, through air the indian naval ships have brought in 4000 plus indian nationals stranded in various countries back to india during covid times this is only in the last one year then currently why am i talking to you i'm talking to you because exercise tropics which is held every 2 years is currently underway along the shorelines of india as you all know india has a coastline which is about 7500 kilometers plus and of course the island territories of lakshadweep and minikoy on the west coast and the andaman nicobar islands on the east coast or in bay of bengal and straddling the indian ocean now there are three phases to exercise tropics which takes place as i said every 2 years first phase uh, some amphibious exercise was carried out with uh, army troops the naval uh, assets and landing on shores and beaches uh, simulating some of the scenarios that might happen in a real skirmish or a real war with india's adversaries then there was operation tayar in which many of the uh, the logistics chain of the navy was tested and validated and now currently the indian navy is testing its uh, operational readiness of its weapons if its missiles its ships the work up phase as, as it is called where the ships are maintained overhauled repaired rested a bit and are now ready for any eventuality because there is an assessment in the indian national security establishment that come summer which is from april onwards Uh, if the chinese do not disengage from ladakh uh, where the current standoff is happening or even if they disengage there could be some mischief or some uh, new pressure point some new uh, tension point may occur either in the eastern sector of the land border or even around andaman nicobar islands or in the indian ocean region and for that the indian navy has to be ready exercise tropics which takes place Uh, on the east and the west coast as i said is right now happening uh, in the arabian sea in fact closer to north arabian sea where there is another joint exercise being conducted by china and pakistan navies uh, perhaps to uh, either keep a watch on indian exercise or to counter indian exercise and of course uh, on the uh, east coast the indian navy is also exercising in the bay of bengal also uh, in indian ocean to validate its concepts its doctrines and its readiness in terms of personnel in terms of assets in terms of weapons all this is happening silently away from the gaze of the general people like us who uh, do not get to know what exactly the navy does 
so ultimately the indian navy uh, wants itself to be seen as a combat ready credible and a cohesive force as the uh, navy chief admiral karambir singh keeps saying in many of his uh, public interactions or even during the speeches uh, that he gives in, in uh, seminars and conclaves that the navy indian navy has a big responsibility uh, not just around its coastline but also in the indian ocean region in the near neighborhood as well as in the extended neighborhood and therefore we must know what the indian navy does it has a glorious tradition all of you know there is one aircraft carrier that the indian navy operates currently ins vikramaditya uh, another aircraft carrier is under construction in uh, cochin shipyard uh, which is named ins vikrant of course there are uh, assets both uh, sub surface which is which are submarines the surface assets like the destroyers and um, frigates and uh, big ships and landing docks and an amphibious ship called uh, ins jalashwa uh, also there are naval aviation assets that the indian navy has which are fully deployed and because it has been doing mission based deployments over the past 3 years or so the indian navy has now got an experience across the spectrum of conflict or even operations therefore i wanted you to know a little bit more about the indian navy while i have concentrated over the past one year in simply nitin on the indian army deployment the indian army stand off with the chinese army in ladakh and other places i thought this is a good time to also turn the focus on the indian navy when exercise tropex is on right now both in the indian ocean uh, bay of bengal and the arabian sea that's all i have this week but keep watching us keep subscribing to our youtube channel of course like us on our social media platforms keep sending feedback and of course support us if you think you like our work our kind of journalism because this kind of a journalism when we go to the ground get information also costs money and of course we'll always be happy to give you more and more information in a credible manner in a balanced manner until the next time it's goodbye